hello again you gorgeous lot welcome back to my channel if you are new so today's video we are going to try some new vegan food together been buying lots of new vegan bits because veganery lots of new vegan options come out in the shops so i recently did a come to the supermarket shopping with me like food shop haul because there's so many different shops doing different vegan options also please excuse the fact that i look really tired so i've just come back from tesco and they had so many offers on especially with the club card they had some pizzas on offer from goodfellas they had those green cuisine dippers things like that so i'm gonna take you through pretty much like a what i eat in a week kind of video again but i'm gonna try different foods this time because the last video that i did like what i eat in a week it was mainly stuff that i tried already and basically showed you just my realistic what i eat in a week but this time we're gonna try out some new stuff because i bought quite a few new things recently like today for lunch i had a naked glory what was it vegan like chicken tikka tender strips and oh my god they're amazing they're only two pound in a packet from morrison's i went to morrison's as well today and they've got some really good offers on like if you guys are doing veganuary as well sorry i just put me down it's really aching my arm if you're doing veganuary please when you go for your food shop check out all the vegan options like they are insane this time around this is my first time properly doing veganuary so i'm really happy to be doing it and i'm so excited for all the new goodies to come out i really hope that they stay out because after veganuary sometimes they just like don't bring all the good stuff out they just put it away again and i'm like can this just stay all year round please so anyway let's just get into this video see what new bits and pieces we have and things we're going to try so in that video where i showed you what i got from the shops my little supermarket food haul i will show you me trying it like the melt in the middle puddings from aldi i'm definitely going to be trying this evening so we're going to have a pizza together and we'll have that for pudding so this is dinner tonight goodfellas vegan stone baked meatless mediterranean pizza and some curly fries to go with it because you can't just have it on its own i just can't i need something else with it and this is how it this is how it looks once i took it out of the packet but i actually don't like onions so before i cook it i'm going to take the onions off because i'm not really a fan of those so i'm glad that i can pick them off don't judge me don't like them so we cook this and then we'll have that mouse in the middle pudding as well so i'll just take you into the freezer because we have some goodies in here we have another Goodfellas vegan stone baked falafel pizza, which I picked up from Tesco for £1.50. They're normally £2.50. Also picked up these and get out. Chicken free dippers from Green Cuisine. Don't really want to get them out. Um, lots of different things in the freezer that we can try out. And also picked up this today. This Alpro smooth oat latte. I also had the caramel soy latte today and it was absolutely lush. So 99p in, um, where was it? Lidl today. And then picked up some chicken free slices. Tried these before though. Haven't tried these before. The Nomo things that I got for Christmas. But as I was saying for lunch today, this is what I had the Nikki Glory Tika tender strips. And oh my god, guys, they have the texture of chicken. And honestly, they're really, really nice. If there's anyone watching this that is tempted to go on a plant based diet for like protein and things like that, they're not actually that bad for protein because half a bag of this is 17 grams. Of protein so that's really good these are honestly really nice i might chuck these on top of the pizza actually that might be a good idea but anyway we'll try the pizza first and then uh, see if i want to have that but that was really nice today so dinner is out of the oven i'm really excited about this i've just been looking on the vegan instagram pages and getting excited about all the vegan food i just feel like it's my calling it just looks so good let's give it okay time to try the pizza this shirt is like really big on me okay i hope that i'm gonna like this it smells good i'm sorry it's got bits of tomato on it as well mm, that's rather nice it's got like a hint of spice to it as well i'm not sure what the green is it said that it had oregano on it, it looks more like pesto but either way this is good i'm surprised that i'm eating it with the tomatoes and the peppers on it considering how i wouldn't eat them normally but i want to eat the pizza for what it is Rather than like pick it all off because I'm such a fussy eater. The little meat free pieces are quite nice as well. What a nice pizza. It is missing cheese though. It doesn't have vegan cheese on this. It just has like a tomatoey base. And then the peppers, onions, but I took the onions off. And then there's tomatoes on there. It looks like pesto. And then, then vegan meat free pieces on top. It's actually pretty good. Okay, time to try some puddings and I'm going to try this new plant menu from Aldi. Caramel melt in the middle pudding with a little bit of vanilla 
vegan ice cream which i picked up from morrison's quite a while ago it's just been sat in freezer and then on like 80p and then i've got some reduced strawberries whilst i was in tesco got some strawberries with it as well so i'm gonna pop this in the microwave how long does it go in for literally 30 seconds so i'll pop that in the microwave and then we'll see so this is how it looks before i thought i'd shine my light on that so you can actually see it. it comes in this cute like little paper case so we can microwave it and see how it looks and there we have it pudding is ready made it look quite um nice to be honest so let's try it okay let's try this give this a go i don't know if it's supposed to stay in the packaging or not but i'm going to take it out hopefully it won't have too much stuck to it that was a fail <laughs> let's just try it like this oh it's nice and gooey just a little bit of ice cream in it oh my god it's literally like a chocolate brownie so now you know like when you get them in the pub and you just want like little dessert and you decide to have the chocolate fudge cake or the chocolate brownie with ice cream this is amazing mm. i haven't had a pudding like this since they out in the pub think about it and that was a long time ago let's be honest well, i can't believe how flipping nice this is oh brown food that's let's add a strawberry into this because strawberries and chocolate is buying can't forget a little bit of ice cream oh my god best thing i've tasted so far and i can't believe that this is vegan like 100 percent vegan 10 out of 10 for this also that pizza i'd give it maybe a 7 or an 8 out of 10 because it's missing the cheese plus i'd like it more if it didn't have onions on it so tonight's dinner i'd give it a full-on 8 out of 10 it was perfect oh i look a bit red in the face what's going on there um that pudding wow that was actually incredible and I am now absolutely stuffed from that. And I'm, <laughs> even though I'm stuffed, I'm thinking about what am I going to have tomorrow? What am I going to have? I've got so many options. I've got like a vegan steak that I haven't tried before from the Plant Chef range in Tesco. I got that produced a while ago. You might have seen that in Vlogmas actually. I've got loads of things in the freezer that I've picked up and I haven't tried yet. And I'm really excited for it. Like whilst the pizza was cooking in the oven, I was talking to Adam or pretty much myself about um, all the vegan options that will come out for Veganuary. And Domino's have brought out, is it Domino's or is it Pizza Hut? Both actually. Pizza Hut's brought out a vegan pepperoni pizza, which I really want to try, but I hope they keep it on the menu. And then Domino's have brought out a, I think it's a chicken style pizza, vegan pizza, and then vegan nuggets. Like, I'm sorry, what? I'm really excited about it. If you're a meat eater and you're watching this and you're thinking that you couldn't become a vegan or vegetarian, guys, try it the food on this side absolutely amazing i cannot believe like i've actually gone towards the vegan slash vegetarian side i'm going more towards vegan now than i am vegetarian than i'm doing veganuary and all the vegan options are actually incredible and we went into tesco's earlier today also i do apologize if i have chocolate wrong i can't see any but I feel like there's some there. When we were in Tesco, they had vegan pastrami. Now, I've wanted vegan, da, 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 da. vegan pastrami for ages because I used to absolutely love pastrami when I was a meat eater. The fact that they didn't have any in like the vegetarian vegan uh, options and now like there's so much more with the vegan and vegetarian options. I'm so glad that they have that because I really want to try the pastrami that we saw today because I used to absolutely love it. I just hope it's going to be nice because it's like got beetroot in it and I don't really like beetroot, but you don't know to try it. So if you're a fussy eater like me, like I am the fussiest eater ever. I don't like mushrooms, I don't like onions, I don't like tomatoes. Loads of other little random things that you wouldn't think that, you wouldn't think that basically. You'd think that I'd like it, me being a veggie basically. I absolutely detest mushrooms. Sorry for the people that like mushrooms. I do apologise, but I just, I've never liked it. The texture, the taste, nah. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm really excited for all the new vegan food that we're going to be trying in this video. I just really hope you guys are excited for it too. If you are thinking of going vegetarian or vegan, try it. Honestly, try it. Like, I tried it, I think it was for like six months where I was like, jumping between meat and vegetarian. And then like, I just took the leap of like, no meat whatsoever. I had a no dairy diet before that anyway. So it was easier to jump into it. But being vegan slash vegetarian is honestly the best move I have ever made for like my health for the environment for the animals honestly you don't feel guilty or anything when you're on a vegan vegetarian diet i feel like it's just a really nice thing to do and i've felt so much better within myself mentally physically my stomach's thanked me for it because i have ibs if you guys didn't already know that and i'm really happy that i've made this jump towards eating no meat and no dairy etc or you know what i mean 
it's probably one of the best movies I've ever made. So I know that we've completely gone off on a major tangent in this video, but I wanted to let you guys know that because I know like some people are like, oh, I could never be a vegetarian. I'm like, try it. Like even if you do like meat free Mondays or just try more vegetarian or vegan dishes, give it a go. You are majorly missing out. Like they are amazing. There are options out there now, even like the vegan chocolate, burgers, vegan steaks, vegan pizzas, even vegan nuggets, guys. I used to love chicken nuggets. Now I won't touch one because there's so many options. I just, I'm going to stop rambling out and um, sit and watch some Al Darby because Al Darby is the best. Okay, so today we are trying out this plancha fake steak with garlic melt. So I'm going to use with some chips, maybe some salad or some peas. But I haven't actually tried this before. It's made of pea protein. A bit funny. Pea protein, roasted onions with an oozing garlic melt topper. So we'll see how this goes. Hello, so it's a new day and we're trying a Goodfellas vegan stone baked falafel pizza today. And it is of course a vegan. Um, I'm quite excited about this one because it has hummus and falafel on it. So I think that's quite a nice mix and it's got, it's got peppers. But unfortunately it's got onions so I'm probably going to be picking some off. But I'll let you know how it goes. Just ignore the, the popping sounds in the background. It's just the, uh, the chips frying away. I'm going to to try this. It's in the oven. I'll let you know what it's like once it's done or I'll show you it. It looks pretty good. I think I've got this for £1.50 in Tesco. They had the club card deal on. Definitely have a look in Tesco when you can for the vegan deals and things. Because they're actually quite cheap at the moment. Especially in Tesco with the club card. But yeah, definitely try this out. And I'll let you know what it's like once it's cooked. It's looking good. Absolutely love homemade chips. Does anyone else like homemade chips? If not, if you never tried them, you need to try them. They're lush. So I'm gonna try this pizza now and let you know how it is. So pizza has been eaten. I ended up having about two slices because I'm stuffed. It was nice. I'm not sure whether I bought it again because I'm not falafel. I'm a bit like hit and miss with. I'm liking the hummus, adds a bit of spice to it as well. Pulled out all the onions on it. Ended up pulling out the peppers on it. I know doesn't really give it the full effects but I tried it firstly like just like this and I was like oh that's quite nice yeah I don't think I'll buy this again but if you like falafel and hummus and peppers and onions and a bit of spinach then yeah you'll like it yeah bargain though but I I'm glad I tried it though but I'm not sure that I'd buy it again but either way I'm glad that I tried it hey guys so it's a new day it's been like it's been like 30 seconds for you guys pretty much so um this evening's dinner is Vivera plant Greek kebabs. I thought, you know what? I haven't actually had a plant based kebab yet, so I thought I might as well throw this in the vlog because we're trying new foods in this video and I thought I would try it. I was actually really tempted to have a takeaway tonight. I'm not going to deny it. I don't even have takeaways very often, but yeah, I'm going to cook dinner with you and uh, we'll try it out together. <laughs> added this sauce to the kebab whilst it was cooking and it's the piri piri lemon and herb sauce slash marinade even it's the mild one this is basically like the nando sauce from aldi i thought i'd add that in there and um yes yeah, so i know that this is a extortionate amount of chips but if you know me personally you know i freaking love chips so i will absolutely devour this and i remember now that i've actually tried this kebab before and it tastes incredible. And I've been picking at it since I cooked it. Um, yeah, sorry guys that don't like that, but couldn't resist. Pretty good. And dinner is served. And I've actually got 
Bridgerton on in the background because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I started this probably two days ago and I'm on episode seven. I'm a bit too obsessed and I've probably got one episode left and then it's over and I'm going to be absolutely gutted. But I've decided I'm going to watch The Crown next because I seem to be into period dramas recently. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been watching this too. I'm absolutely obsessed. So we're on to another new day and I actually have these to try today. Dairy Free Salted Caramel Ice Creams from Aldi. These are $1.99. But also, before I get into this, I want to give you a little bit of a haul of what I bought today at the shops. So I'll just take them out and I'll show you what I picked up. And I've got this vegetarian chicken bucket from Linda McCartney. Now, I wasn't too sure about this, but because it was reduced down from a fiver to £2.5p, I was like, I'm pretty sure we can give that a go. And we have some really nice tofu. Oops, whoops, just drop that on the floor. So I bought this from Tesco for £1.10p and it's normally £2.50. And me and Adam have tried these and we really like them. And the next thing that I picked up was these Richmond sausages. I absolutely love these. But I've got them in Morrison's. But I also got these let me just put them on the table before i drop them beyond meat burgers and you know how much they was one pound 55 down from five pound absolute bargain so i picked up two because you know we, we can't leave a bargain on this. lastly i have this pizza from aldi which i picked up i think it was yesterday barbecue bacon style pieces of mushroom pizza now i'm going to be pick the mushroom off but i really want to give this a go but i know that i'll pick the mushrooms off anyway so that's a little haul for you. Also, to those that shop in Tesco, or even if you don't, this is quite handy if you do Veganuary. This month's Tesco magazine is all about Veganuary and they show you uh, what recipes you can make with things, loads of alternatives, and loads of different goodies that you can do for Veganuary. I really wanted to get this pizza, but I haven't seen this one anywhere. It's a vegan cheeseburger pizza, and I'm dying to get them. Same with the Wicked range from Tesco. The Wicked Bakery range and it's only in stores for a limited amount of time so I'm really annoyed that they're not in my local Tesco. Don't know whether they will be so that's really annoying but there's loads of good recipes in this magazine. I always love to keep hold of them and just read through it every so often. And like they have so many good recipes I really want to try this out. Healthy Berry Crumble Flapjack. That looks lovely. And there's just so many good recipes in here it's crazy. I'd love to make that lentil. Um cottage pie there's also some good recipes in here for families five meals for under 25 pound so yeah it's a really good magazine definitely pick it up and it is free so if you didn't already know that it's a pretty good magazine especially if you're new to veganuary i feel like all you've seen in this video is me practically in my pajamas but this is the real me guys i'm literally living in pajamas when i'm at home so all the loungewear so let's try out these salted caramel ice creams it's funny, it's like that that way and then you flip it over and it's a bit different. Is it even in focus? That's a bit better. So let's try these out. It feels a bit melted. I hope not. I'm not liking how it comes in this plastic packaging. I prefer it if it was uh, recyclable a bit better. Is this actually recyclable this bit? No, it's not. It says check locally but normally when it's just rocks that you can't recycle it oh it's not a bad size it's not as big as a magnum i'm not gonna lie but these are like half the price of a vegan magnum so I'm not complaining mm. so it has vegan vanilla ice cream pea protein so it's a vanilla vegan ice cream with a swell of salted caramel sauce coated with chocolate and sprinkled with honeycomb pieces honeycomb pieces how is it vegan now okay all right aldi getting all snazzy so let's give it a go different to a magnum with the honeycomb it's like a little bit of a crisp to it on with the ice cream i think this is like kind of on par with the salted caramel pudding oh my god i completely forgot to tell you guys i tried the chocolate brownie aldi pudding and i'm not gonna lie it wasn't as good as the salted caramel so i was a bit disappointed and i could really taste like hazelnut and coconut oil in it so it wasn't overly chocolatey compared to the caramel um but this is kind of on par with the caramel at the moment. This is really good. There's one more thing I've got to show you. I also picked up a very exciting pot of vegan galaxy hot chocolate. And I can't wait to try this. 
I really can't. I might have some of this tonight. But then I might have kind of like a chocolate overload. But yeah, this was, I think it was 2 99 in our stand, which is a little bit pricey, but I was like, you know, it's vegan. How have my money? Happy when it's vegan. It just makes me so happy when everything's vegan. I'm really, really happy with the content of like me doing vegan stuff. Let me know in the comments if you're actually enjoying this vegan stuff because I'd actually like this to like to do these kind of videos more often because this is my diet every day. Like vegan, more so vegan than vegetarian because I want to go more vegan than, than vegetarian because I don't like to have dairy. But I have it indirectly in food, like in corn. That's the only time that I probably have it. Or in the instant hot chocolate. Um, from Aldi because that has milk in it but like whey what's it called that powdered milk but then I just top it with oat milk but now I've discovered this that is another thing that's out of my diet so I'll be sticking to this I know I've said that and I haven't, I haven't even tried it yet I'm getting to the camera bit there is some other flavours I noticed in someone's vegan food shop today shout out to those vegan guys I actually subscribed to them today they're actually really sweet to watch when they did a vegan shop in Aldi on their YouTube and they were showing you around the shop of what's in at the moment for veganuary and they actually showed in the video that there was forest fruits version of these i was like okay i need that the one in my aldi so i want to try them next but yeah those vegan guys they're actually really nice to watch yeah please do let me know if you've really enjoyed these veganuary videos and if you want me to continue doing vegan content because this is what i love doing i love eating vegan vegan food and i want to share it with you guys more often because i really want to switch up my feed because the last couple of weeks I've kind of like been on and off on Instagram and um, just like taking a break and redoing like my content and I've like read a preset and rethought about what I actually want to do and I want it to be more realistic more like lifestyle as well as fashion well fashion as well as lifestyle as well I should say and yeah just switching up a bit because obviously I'm going to be getting a house soon so I want to incorporate like that sort of stuff as well so I want to like make it more of a life kind of area to just go and visit and get inspiration from or something or whatever you want to gain from my social media channels basically but yeah let me know if you um enjoyed these videos because i feel like i finally found my niche of like vegan food and more sustainable life and like li living more eco-friendly etc so um yeah i'm excited to see where this path goes but other than that i'm going to finish off this ice cream vegan ice cream and um i shall see you in my next video please do give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and comment down below if you'd like to see more of these videos and of course subscribe and i shall see you in my next video love you all so much